What's up you guys? Welcome to Daily Driven Exotics. My name is Damon Fryer if you're new to the channel. And we have a guest today, which I'm super excited about. Alex Choi, none other than my brother from another mother. He has a YouTube channel, you guys go check it out. Um, it's kind of neat because, uh, you know, Alex and I have had the opportunity to spend a lot of time lately together. And there's good reason for that. A lot of people are like, what the heck? You and Alex are like always in videos together. Well, Alex and I, as you might not suspect being that, uh, there's a lot of differences between us, but there are some similarities, specifically around the car culture that we that we embrace together in the brotherhood. So we both have Huracons, and we were both basically redoing our Huracons at the same time, right? Pretty much. And we have some very similar ideas that we both like. And we're both trying to steal from Yeah, we're, we're just, we, we have these ideas, one person makes one thing, and the other guy likes it and wanted to make it, so we're like stealing the other guy's idea while the other guy's making something, and then the other guy steals it. So long story short, we're here to finally reveal, well we've kind of been revealing it, but like officially revealing here on live with you guys, the brand new Big Wang Gang we got. And there are some subtle differences, so check this out. Sadistic Ironworks went and made these custom wings originally for the guys over at Rap Legends. And we both saw this wing and we were like, we stole their idea. Yeah, at that car show. That was at the car show we went to, yeah. I, I, just, I saw that car there for the first time and I was like, I need this. And what was what was that car show? It was SSL, 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 SSL performance, yeah. You'll have to talk loud, I apologize. Yeah, it's bad. There is close. Some, uh, there's some pressure washing going on behind us, you guys. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Sorry guys, let's be a minute. <laughs> Those people say they can't hear us, so let's move maybe or... Oh, they can't hear us. Oh, just yell at me. Alright, hold on. We got this, you guys. This is happening live right now. That's the man with the plan. It might not be the best, but... Oh, come on, come closer, come closer. Alright, can you guys hear me now? Is that better? How are we doing? Yes, that's better. Awesome. I can hear I, you, I, I, loud and clear. I apologize for the pressure washer. They weren't doing anything for like 20 minutes. And, yes. the, and the second we went live, they started. So listen, Alex and I have these epic chassis mounted wings from Sadistic Ironworks. So have a look at, have a look at Alex's first of all. Dave, come on down here. Alex, give him a walk through how this thing's mounted up and just give him some, some of the details. Well, let's start from the bottom here. This is actually the actual frame of the car where it's bolted onto so it's bolted onto that part of the frame and the impact bar and goes around how the two crossbars two exhausts are coming out of right here and since it is chassis mounted it's it's legit like you could you could uh, yeah you you've actually stood on top of this so why don't we do a demo of that all right So here you guys go. Alex is gonna demonstrate the strength of the chassis mounted wing. Dude, stay there for a second. That's super epic, that shot right there. Yeah. What do you guys think? Now, what do you weigh, Alex? Like 145. You weigh how much? 145. 145 pounds. Well, do you guys think I could stand on my wing? What do you think? Dave says no. I'm not <laughs> I'm not that big, am I? So, uh, shall I try? Should we try it? Oh, Here you go. Try it on Alex's car. No, 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 no. Yeah, Just... I don't think so. I don't think it's a matter of standing on this part, but the reality is, is I actually might be, you know, like 100 pounds heavier, so in the resin. I don't want to break the carbon. So I'm just going to, I'm going to opt out of that one. So you guys, hey look, listen, thanks for coming on live. We've got Alex on here with us. And um, dude, we wanted to ask you a few questions. So sure. first of all, the wrap came off. Like let's yeah. walk around the car, the wrap's off. What's, what's happening, what's going down? Well. <laughs> Dave's in control of the camera. This is a big, big cloud. This is a big secret. Don't tell you, don't tell us anyone. Well, I'll tell the world that, but. Yeah, talk loud. Go yell, Alex. I've never told this to anybody in public. Um, so I was at the Lamborghini Urus launch event and there were like 500 people standing next to me. So I was just like, 
I was so pressured. I was like, I don't know what to do. There's a bunch of people around me. And it was somewhere in downtown LA. And by the way, LA, the roads don't make sense. And I was trying to go up this curb and I kind of cut the corner way too early. Ended up uh, scraping up my door. Oh, oh. dude. So, so this is a self-inflicted war wound. Yep. This happens guys, this is real life. No one's seen this. This was completely hidden by the wrap. And uh, yeah. Now, the crazy part is, is dude, stay, stay with me down here for a sec. Let's just, let's just stay in this for a sec. So first of all, never been revealed, revealed first on Daily Driven Exotics. Let the uh, bad Asian driver jokes begin. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's something more to this. This isn't just any old blue for a Huracan, is it? No, it's, uh, I didn't order this car, but whoever ordered this car uh, wanted this paint job, and he paid, well, he was going to pay another $16,000 just for this paint job. It's called Blue Nathans. It's like a one of, like, five Huracan in the world kind of a paint job. I think only, it's an, it's an option on the Aventador SV. Um, it's like an ad personum, which is like a custom Lamborghini option special. It's like McLaren MSO kind of thing, option on the Huracan. So, Whoever bought this car wants to pay 16 extra grand just for this paint job. And it's really cool. If you look at it on certain angles, it's purple. On certain angles, it's turquoise. Um, and it's mainly blue, obviously. It's a really cool color. And you, like, looking at it through a live video right now, it doesn't, it doesn't do justice. you got to look at it in real life. It's so true. Now, the reason why I wanted to make that note is, is because repairing this door, repairing the side skirt, uh, is gonna be very hard to do to match the color, but also gonna be very costly. Yeah. So, you know, perks of being a supercar owner. So what are you gonna do with the wrap? Cause you're gonna rewrap it or are you gonna leave well, it blue for it? What are we doing? I'm gonna leave it blue for a little bit yeah. and then um, get the door fixed before I start wrapping it. Um, and then I'm still, you know, battling with insurance on that. But once I get the door fixed, um, I haven't, I already actually designed the wrap. It's. Uh, I haven't revealed anything about it. I don't really want to. It's no, a really, no, you don't have to. It's a really, it's a really special wrap. I'll give you a huge hint though. It's gonna be pink, but it's not just any pink. That's crazy. It's gonna be a crazy, it's gonna be the craziest Huracan wrap you'll see. I think it's gonna top you also. I'm down, man. I like the competition. I embrace it. Um, not afraid of it at all. A big difference from my car to your car, even though we have a lot of similarities, is you have this hood. You have a full carbon hood. Tell us yeah. about this hood. Well. It's a full carbon hood. That's. I just think uh, doesn't really fit properly. Well, don't worry. My bumper's sagging on mine too from doing the snowplow video. But it comes with the territory. Other than that, it, does, it makes a huge difference on the car, just the hood, and it makes it so much. It looks different, right? It looks. It's, it's adds, a big difference. Yeah. Adds the aggressiveness. I think to the design of the hood is also inspired by the 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 Huracan Super Trofeo. Yeah. So it just gives it that more. Uh, Aggressive looking, and it pins on there also, so it's a lot more racier than we So, you have some other things coming for your car. Mm -hmm. You have a new bumper, we don't need to reveal what, but you have a new bumper. I have a new, yeah, new front bumper, which I need a new front bumper, guys. I need a new front bumper. Comment below, should I get a Vorsteiner replacement or should I switch it up? Now, for now, I decided to just leave the Vorsteiner bumper on. And Alex, why don't you come with me? We have some new stuff on the DD Huracan, you guys. Come check this out. So first of all, let's start at the front. I went ahead and put on some big ass canards to kind of even out the symmetry, like, you know, of everything on the car so it looks even because we have this huge wing at the back and I didn't want it to be like not aggressive enough at the front, so check this out. So Sadistic Ironworks built these super sturdy, epic canards. These are hand built. They are made of aluminum uh, or aluminum, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Don't kill me in the comments. And then it's been uh, powder coated black. So we have a full kind of very aggressive race canard here, you guys. Dave's doing his best to show you. And then as you know, we did the new wrap. We got the new wheels. All that's the same. But why don't we come to the back to the wing? Because there are some subtle differences between Alex's wing and my wing, even though they're virtually the same. All right. So you'll notice, first of all, both of our wings are exposed carbon at the moment it's gloss carbon that's all normal but we had the option to essentially have the wing cut out Alex went for the cutout I went for the solid look so if you look from the sides you're gonna see 
he has all these little cutouts. And if you come over to my wing, you can see where the indentation is for them to be cut out, but my wing is completely solid. So that's one subtle aesthetic difference. Alex is nuts, like guy's crazy. So I haven't had the opportunity to get any custom um, exhaust work done. It's in the works. We have something that was just made. It's gonna sh get shipped out next week and installed. But in the meantime, I'm still rocking the stock exhaust. Now I get, dude, I get absolutely butchered in the comments for having this exhaust like this. What? People are like, get the tips put back on and like just, <laughs> Um, I feel you guys, there's been though a motive behind me waiting this whole time and it's because we have this exhaust in the works. Now, I also live in the middle of nowhere on an island. He lives in Los Angeles in Beverly Hills. He went out to his buddy's shop and had these custom titanium pipes put on. Like, dude, walk us through what you were thinking when you did this because I've never seen anything so, like this. So I went to this uh, shop in Glendale called Bar Speed. Shout out to them. Um, they, they do really, really great titanium work. Um, and I, I went there to get a titanium exhaust made. Um, and I was, if you guys ever have seen a titanium exhaust, when they do these pie cuts, they look, they, they're just a piece of art. And I really wanted one of those exhausts. So I went there to get one of those exhausts made. And they had these three inch titanium barrels laying around. So as a joke, when the exhaust system came off, I was like, huh, what if I just put these barrels in there like this and just leave it like that, like a, like a barrel of a cannon? And he says, okay, we'll just make you one. And he made a couple mounting brackets and... Uh, yeah, you got some heat heat wrap on here. Some heat wrap on some there. Some heat wrap, which is important because... Don't touch um, that because your hands are gonna itch for the rest of the day now. Oh, <laughs> okay. that's fiberglass. Your okay. hands are gonna itch for the rest All right. of the day. Yeah, <laughs> I'm learning as we go here, guys. So long story short, the titanium is better at like... It's, it's just, it's just better. The titanium is a better metal. Like it's just better at everything. Well, it's cool. It's lighter. Um, it it's a lot thinner, and it it so it bounces. Uh, the sound bounces off differently than regular stainless steel, so it sounds it totally different. Changes the pitch. It changes the pitch. It changes the tone. Uh, it also doesn't dissipate heat as much. I mean, it, it dissipates heat just as well as stainless steel, but like it kind of comes straight out. It just kind of comes straight poster, out, yeah. and it does. It contains the heat really well within wow. itself. So honestly, I, I don't I don't think I even needed all this heat shielding in here because. If this was a stainless steel pipe and you put your hand right on top of it, you would have burned your hand just from the heat coming off of the That's pipe. That's cool. But on titanium, it there's virtually no heat coming out of it until you actually touch it and you'll feel it hot. Now, I noticed something on your car which was very unique and it reminded me of back in the day before you were probably even born. The McLaren F1 has like gold, legit real gold foil even on heat in there. Even on the, the P1 actually has that too, you just can't see it. Unless really? You pop everything off. But and like yeah. the space shuttle and astronaut shit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So check this out, you guys. Look at this. Alex has like gold heat shielding in his car. So did you put that on or is that, yeah, no, does I, that come from Lambo and I no, just haven't torn I, enough stuff I, off my car? I put that on all by myself. Really? It's just an adhesive tape. Uh, it's actually really expensive. It's like $100 per roll. Wow. So I think it has to do something with real gold. It's obviously not 100% real gold. But it looks it, sick. It does look really sick and it actually does a really good job bouncing off all the heat. Um, all the heat shielding right here, if you look at it, this, this part is really necessary to do heat shielding because on, in, inside this little box right here, you got your... Uh, satellite radio antenna, you got your, um, there, there are a lot of electronics and antennas in here, so I had to cover that up really nicely. Also, under the tail lights, this thing is all plastic, so I didn't really want it to melt. You don't I mean, want to be melting tail lights. I don't really want to be melting tail lights, and you know. Uh, these boxes back here, they're actually the air boxes, so the air filters are inside these boxes. Wow. So I didn't want, and that thing is actually made out of plastic too, so That's I didn't wild. really want that to melt. And then, um, yeah, I just went ham and on this gold tape. You did, and you went <laughs> ham on really removing all of the heat shielding that comes with the work on. Like, yeah. mine's still all there. So you guys can look at Alex's for a sec. I'll show you. Here, I'll take this for a sec. So check this out, you guys. Look at this. So you can see how open and everything from Alex's car that's been cut out. And then if you come over to my car, look how my car's still all like covered up. So we blacked this all out with paint. And eventually I'm gonna remove a lot more of this, but look at the difference. And so when he's driving down the road, you can see everything down here, like spinning and moving when he's driving down the road. It's pretty wild actually. So, dude, good job. I like your car, it's sick as hell. Thank you. Now, uh, I got you, I got you, I got you. You got the pound, we got, can't leave you hanging here at the pound. So guys, that's the wing difference is the cutouts 
uh, last but not least, I did have my wing uh, moved a little closer to the back of the car. It's minor, but um, it was really just due to the fact that uh, I was never intending on ever putting the rear bumper back on my car. So just little things like that. I'm super excited to uh, say that my car is staying at the 800 horsepower range, but we are in the works to figure something out in the future. Alex, however, has an E85 tune on his car. I'd say like an 800 kit plus. Yeah. So, how does that work? Break it down for us. Pretty much, I I have the upgraded DF fuel system. Um, it's just an extra fuel pump. There's yep. only one fuel pump on on an OEM regular Huracan, on a stock Huracan. Yeah. Now I'm running two fuel pumps, and the second fuel pump will come on on full throttle. Um, and that is there because E85. If you're running E85, you actually need a lot more. It burns a lot more. You know fuel than gasoline does. You actually burn about 50 times more fuel, so I'm constantly having to go, go, go to the E85 station. I've been with you on a fuel run. Yeah, it's yeah. not fun. Yeah. When he sticks me, he sticks me with the RS7 with all these fuel containers sloshing around in the back, and I'm like, you know, one third of the way driving to where we're going, and I'm basically high when we get to the gas station. Yeah, E85 thank you. Back. Thank you for that, it was fun. Yeah. So now I just have to constantly run about 60% regular gas and 40% E85. And I have a, uh, I just got my car dyno tuned by VF Engineering for the special, you know, E85 tune. So I'm making about 70, 60, 70 more horsepower than a regular. Um, and it's no, it's noticeable. Like I've uh, yeah. I've ridden with you in this car, and I've ridden in my car. And don't get me wrong, my car's fast but this is a little bit faster. And especially cause you have all wheel drive. So like off the launch, it launches hard. But the second you are already like, you've got the traction at the top of first even, you were just, you hit second and it's like, you're gone, man. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so maybe on our vlogs, while well, I'm here for the weekend, we have to race. Because technically we have the same setup. The only difference is you have an E85 tune and your all-wheel drive. So it'd be fun to do like a, just a rolling race. Also, you might be putting down more, uh, more actual wheel horsepower because your car is a real-wheel drive. No diff. There's no front diff, and the front diff actually takes up a lot of the power just to run the diff itself, so. We'll have to do that. We'll see. All right, we'll see. Also, you guys um, want to see that? You guys want to see a race? Choi and I, Dave, you'll take over. There we go. So what, what were you going to say? I cut you off. I do that to people. Oh, yeah, no. no, no. I'm just joking. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Also, no, no, I just, it's okay. No, I'm just messing with them. Alex, <laughs> oh, you gotta yell, bro. You gotta yell. <laughs> also, uh, uh, if you guys know, Huracans have three driving modes. You got Strata, Sport, and Corsa. Um, Strata is just, you know, the girl mode. Sport it's wife is. Mode. It's wife mode, yeah. Or if my mom's in the car mode. Uh, <laughs> sport is. It, sport is designed to have fun on the road, and course is like the more serious track driving mode. That's why on a normal Huracan, actually, um, the core actually crackles on sport mode, and it doesn't really, really even crackle on course mode. But I like, I personally like the way the car feels better on, I actually like how the car feels in course mode way better than sport mode. So, um, Me too. VF Engineering actually took the, some, changed up the, the, the ECU to make the crackles in Corsa just crazier than any crackles you've ever heard before. It crackles like nobody's business. It's very true. So if you guys want to be witness to that, you can watch either one of his vlogs or one of my vlogs. We have our cars, or your cars really, in a lot of my videos recently. And it's insane. It's mental. It makes my car look like it's stock. You know, if you had to compare, like yeah. the difference in sound. So he can drive in Corsa. My car is like really quite quiet because it's being efficient, but VF added the extra crackle snap pop in course to his car and it's like menacing. So last but not least, what else can we talk about um, as far as your car? You have, you have a few other- Well, I got the crazy, crazy wrap coming. Um, and then I got a, a new set of wheels from Brixton Forge. It's totally different than Damon's wheels. So, um, and they're, they're really, really cool. They're like one of the coolest wheels I've seen. So I'm really excited to get those. I'm still deciding on the color to go with that wrap. Um, so maybe you have big changes. Yeah, I have a lot of changes coming up. And then, and then of course, I got the new front bumper. Um, actually, I'm also getting a new rear diffuser made to kind of fill in the emptiness that's going on back here. We're both getting a new diffuser made. That's another thing that we both basically text each other at the same time and went, 
I, I want to get a new, a new diffuser made to fill in that void. And Alex laughs and goes, I was thinking the exact same, not just like idea, but diffuser style when we sent that back and forth. Yeah. We won't let that go because that's a big kind of fun secret for me to still unveil. Um, being that my car, other than the exhaust to the diffuser, is for the most part, it's pretty ready to go for the uh, 2018 summer. However, Alex has like, dude, I can't wait for you to read I've, I've seen the wrap. It's so sick. It's so sick. Oh, one really but, cool go. thing, actually, I forgot to reveal, is uh, what I did to the interior. So, check this out. Uh, oh. Dude, you got harnesses. Way back here is a VF engineering harness bar. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. So now I could run these Sparco harnesses. Dude, oh, I'm oh. I'm so jealous. Yeah. Why don't we have that? They keep giving the kid all the good stuff. <laughs> so Alex, how old are you? 18. I am 39. I'm old enough to be your dad. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that. An 18-year-old and a 39-year-old can hang out and like have this bond over these cars. But like we truly do, dude. Like hanging out with you, I gotta give props to Alex. He's a very mature 18-year-old guy. I mean, bro, if I was in your position and someone gave me, you know, the opportunity to go and like have the facility to work and make the kind of money to own one of these back when I was 18, I would have killed myself. I mean, like, in the sense that I was so reckless behind the wheel of a Honda Prelude with 100 and, I don't know, 80 horsepower or 50 horsepower, whatever it was, I crashed my mom's car, like, five times, which, ironically, most of you guys don't know on this channel, I owe my mom a car to this day. I rode off her last Prelude she had before she moved back to Switzerland, and it was totaled, and under the circumstances, insurance wouldn't cover it. Mom, when you come back, as you know, I'm buying you a new car. So, anyhow... The point is, is if I had an 800 plus horsepower Lamborghini, I probably wouldn't be here today. So props, man, like my hat's off to you for being able to control this beast. And well, I, I did go through my, my own set of stories. Yeah, but I mean, dude, your driving history is like, how long have you been driving? Your total life, like, do you get your license here at 16 like we do? Yeah, but I've been dri driving longer than I should have. Okay, but let's say, okay, when did you start and re you were really driving on the road consistently? A oh, year? my 16th birthday, pretty much. All right, so you have a little over two years of driving, right? Yeah. Okay. You know how long I've been driving for, bro? Well, if I'm 39, do the math. Yeah, I got the license. Oh, yeah. I've been driving for over 20 plus years, right? So, dude, I'm telling you, I, I really admire the way that you carry yourself, you are actually a very humble dude for, Thank you. for the position you're in and you handle yourself well behind the wheel of a car. A lot of guys like, I, I seriously would have crashed and wrecked something within the first week out in this. So guys, hey, huge thanks to being on the channel. Um, anything else, we got our own handshake going now. Anything else you guys want to ask Alex, you know, maybe go and throw uh, him a follow on his Instagram. Definitely smash the subscribe button on his channel. And uh, throw him a comment and, you know, he'll be able to reply to as many of you as he possibly can. And thanks for being a, a guest live speaker on the DVE Live today, dude. We have plenty of shenanigans going on this weekend, don't we? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. stick around for the vlogs because they're going to get crazy and epic. And we're excited to go do some stuff and, and go ham in the cars together, right? Yeah. Okay, dude. Hopefully Dave? Hopefully we don't get in any trouble. Yeah, hopefully we don't get in any trouble or any more trouble. We facilitated a little bit of trouble today. Uh, not really our fault, but a little bit. Dave, what do you have to say for yourself? Thanks for watching, guys. Throw my hands do this. Yeah, like, guys, were we in, like, the, the, the earthquake no, again? No, that one has a good stabilization. Oh, we forgot to talk about Damon's new uh, interior upgrade. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alex had to be funny that while I wasn't looking, he's, he's swapping out door panels. Look at this guy. He's super clean, too. Yellow does not go well. I actually, the yellow kind of goes with my. So many colors I, on your car. I do have a. I do colors. need to fix this. It's just not an easy fix, but it's in the works. We did as the best we could with the door jam, but getting that part of the door takes a little bit of extra work, and it's it's in the works, you guys. Oh, hey, by the way, huge shout out to VF Engineering for hosting us in their environment. That's where we are right now. We got Sam Hubinet right here, you guys, Hollywood stunt driver. Look at, Look at this. 
<laughs> How you doing? Well. How did the sliding around go? It went well. Did it? You burned up some tires and uh, is that sweater you just no, wash? I just you wash my hands. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, did this today, right? <laughs> In the day. Um, we're gonna do some stuff together. Stay tuned for the vlogs, you guys. Thanks for watching this uh, this live. And say bye. We're out. We're out. Oh, by the way, we all have supercharged Lamborghinis. Ooh, isn't that cute? Right? <laughs> okay. Peace. <laughs> I love that laugh. Okay. Now the trick is, is how do you turn this off? My Claire now.